Hi, I'm Stephen. When we create a delete button on a web page, we usually ask the user to double confirm the action. Today, we are going to create this kind of button. Instead of prompting the user with a dialog, how about click and hold for one second for the confirmation. There's also an animation like a progress bar that plays right on the button during the holding period. Let's get started. First, let's create a simple button in HTML. And then, let's center all the elements using Flexbox in the body tag and define the style of the button. We will set the basic style of the button, including the font size, borders, background color, padding, and so forth. Next, Let's define the button style for the hover and active state. Let's change the cursor to pointer as well as the border color. So, when we click the button and hold, this is the active state. We use the linear gradient property to create a progress bar-like animation. As it won't actually be any gradient color, so we are defining one color from 0% to 50% and the other one from 50% to 100%. That allow us to create a single background with two colors. And we will update the width of the background to 200% so that we can kind of update the rate of the progress bar by moving the background position. We will define an animation using the Add Keyframes keyword to move the background position X from 100% to 0% and then apply the animation in the button active selector. So the button is looking good now without any logic yet. Finally, let's add some JavaScript code to work with this effect. We define two event listeners, mouse down and mouse up, to check how long the user holds their click and handle the follow-up logic. The mouse down event listener triggers when the user presses down their mouse click. The first thing is to update the is holding delete button variable to true. We will use this variable for determination in the mouse up event listener later. And then define a delay timer using set timeout. When it reaches the end, we'll execute a block of code. In this case, it means the user confirms the delete action. But for our demonstration purpose, we simply update the button text here. In the mouse up event listener, first, we will check if the variable is holding delete button is true to ensure that this event is associated with the delete button. And we will just clear the timeout here if it does exist as user is releasing their click. Lastly, you may wonder why we are attaching the mouse up event listener to the window object instead of the button. This is because if the user moves away from the button and release their click, the mouse up event won't trigger. So we attach the listener to the window object to cope with that. So we have successfully created a delete button with an animated holding confirmation effect where the user needs to click and hold for one second to confirm the action with a progress bar-like animation right on the button. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.